So there's a very, very powerful energy around water and the clearing of what we can create within all of the bodies of water. Anytime we've had any trauma, anything that has occurred near a body of water, on water, water is cleansing. It's, it's this incredible gift. I'm gonna give you some tools today on how to incorporate water in your clearing and cleansing. And no matter what's going on in your world, if you can connect with water and it's connected to your home or space, then this is something for you. And if you like this, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Uh, my name is Lisa Bennett and I work with spaces all around the world. I'm very big on ceremony around your home, your space. And I tend to forage within the land that you have. I've got some beautiful cedar. Um, it, it's cedar, cedar has been used, cedar, pine, that has been growing in it, and it tends to have this continuous life force. Uh, where I am right now in British Columbia, there's incredible trees that are the, in the evergreen family. Then we bring in any, um, any family of sage. Growing sage and foraging sage and bundling sage to burn is such a gift. And I think I showed it to you earlier, a little bit of what a bundle of sage looks like. And of course, on this property, the, the property owner has a beautiful green thumb and loves to grow plants. So I plant, grabbed a couple of the, um, the flowers that are growing on the property. Just uh, so a little lavender, lavender healing, beautiful smell. And then a little bit more of the evergreen. And then of course, getting a little bit of pine. And pine, this was a particularly dry piece that fell on the ground. So I like to grab things that are either on the ground or that you can um, get from the garden. And then of course, some other beautiful flowers. So what are we gonna do with these? You're probably wondering. Well, after we burn and do a little ceremony, we're gonna actually gift this to the water and gift it back to Mother Earth. Water is a cleansing, it's healing, and it has been used in the forest fires. A lot of the um, airplanes that have come in to pick up buckets of water and dump it onto the for fires around the area. They're using the actual water from the lake. Some of my followers are also in Hawaii, and so you've got the lovely water from Hawaii, which is salt water. Whatever you do, I just wanna let you know, you cannot screw this up. So trust the process, trust with what you can forage, what you can gather from the land that your home is on, or at least that's indigenous to the region, the area, and then we can play with the energy of water today. You're wanting to know how you can contribute to the water that has been next to any of the land or properties that have incorporated or had a tragedy around fire or any other tragedy that has occurred. Water is incredibly healing and it can also be considered destructive with floods and everything else. But the wonderful thing about water is it heals very quickly and it listens. It listens to your emotions. It listens to the happy thoughts and the negative thoughts. And that's being proven time and time again. If you speak to water in a loving way, it's going to contribute back to you in a loving way. If you speak to it in an angry way, it's going to contribute to you in an angry way. So today is all about healing. So for any of you that don't know me, my name is Lisa Bennett. I'm a space whisperer and I work with spaces all around the world. The one thing that I know is given that we have had so many people around the world that have recently gone through some serious fires and lost their homes, lost all their worldly possessions and possibly animals and people. And we can now incorporate this beautiful water to now come from a space of healing. So I've added some tools here today and I, I mentioned them earlier, everything that I've got here. I've also grabbed a little of something in Canada, we call it grandfather's beard, which is um, like moss or lichen that grows on the trees, it dries up. So anything that is indigenous to the area, in Hawaii, you've got the beautiful flowers with the beautiful scents that they pass around and they put around necks, used in a lot of ceremonies, lays and they can be used and given and gifted to the gods, to the spirits, out into the water. Whatever your belief is, 
don't worry about it. You can't mess up. You can't do this wrong. I have this beautiful turkey feather and I like to just send off any of the energy out into up into the spirit world and you want to look at the east south north and west directions to send the any of the negative energy up and away and beautiful mother earth will always always take care of us first thing we start with is intention what is my intent my intent is to lovingly connect with the water i'm standing in the water so my body is connecting i am coming from this beautiful loving space and i'm smiling from within i'm smiling from my heart and i'm going to just ask you all to breathe take three very deep breaths You don't necessarily have to say your intent out loud. You can say your intent within. Welcome in all the animals, all the noise, anything that's going on out there, it's all a contribution. But I love these bells and I love the sound of them. A lot of people use them in meditation. You just have to. Now, anyone that knows water, it's like a ripple effect. So this one little sound that I'm making right now is going out into the universe, out into this whole lake. I'm standing here and how can I have an effect on all the water, all the bodies of water in and around British Columbia? It's all connected. Beautiful. So now, right here, everything that I foraged from the land in this property here that naturally grows. So we have the cedar, we have some pine needles, we have some sage, we have some flowers, and I have this turkey feather. And so we're going to light this. Here we go. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but it's starting to smoke. Just with the wind and everything, I want you to just be aware. We have a candle here. We're going to light this grandfather's beard. Uh, we also have some sage in here. And so it doesn't have to be a big flame, my friends. I just want you to notice that as you're playing with this, it's literally you're going to just circle around circle around yourself. There's the power of the circle. Mother Earth is a circular. The moon is circular. Our sun is circular. Don't worry about the body of the water being circular. Just everything that you have that's burning, we're going to add in here. So there's just this lovely energy of things burning. And as it's burning, As things start to burn, you're literally going to play with the energy of either your hand or a feather, but going up, around, and eventually, as this goes and burns, you're going to actually let this plate go, it's paper, and float onto the water. I said you can't do anything wrong on this. It's all about the intent. You're going to let this go and float away. Send it off with love, with good intentions, and a contribution to all the spaces of water, 
that are asking to be healed and all the land and the people's homes asking them to all heal within British Columbia, Lahaina and beyond.